Are you recording? <laughs> yeah. So today we're going to show you how to put away some food for long-term food storage. I hate rotating out food storage once a year or every couple of years. So uh, I looked around and found a way to keep dried food good for 30 or so years. So uh, Owen will be the cameraman today yep. and I will uh, walk you through the process we used to, to get our food storage built up. So we have some garbanzo beans or split chickpeas, about 50 pounds that we're going to bag up. And we have some regular old oatmeal, dried rolled oats, that we're also going to bag up. What you need for this exercise are three buckets with lids. You'll need some mylar bags. These are five gallon mylar bags, seven mils thick. I won't use anything less because the thinner they are, the easier they tear. Then we'll need some oxygen absorbers. In a five gallon bag, you want anywhere from 2,000 to 3,000 cc's of oxygen absorber. So those are the supplies we need. The only equipment we'll need or tools is a hair straightening iron and pretty much any kind of vacuum. So we'll get this set up and we'll show you the process. So we've got our Mylar bags set up inside our buckets now. They're ready to fill. Uh, we're not going to open our oxygen absorbers yet. We're going to do that last. Uh, these only have a limited amount of time that they can be in contact with atmospheric air. Otherwise, they get used up. So we're going to drop those in right before we seal the bags. Uh, and we'll put our leftovers in an airtight container for future use. In this case, we're going to use Tupperware. Uh, I really recommend using a glass mason jar for this, a small one. Uh, but this is what we have handy right now. Um, so, let's get started. So we know from past experience that 15 pounds of rolled oats will fit in our five gallon mylar bag, still allow us to put the lid on, that'll work great. So we had a 50 pound bag of just split chickpeas. It works out to about 25 pounds per bucket. Uh, from past experience, we know it's about 25 pounds of dried beans or the garbanzo beans that fit in a bucket. Uh, so now we're actually ready to move on to the next step. Uh, just a side note, there's a lot of different foods you can do this with that'll keep for 30 plus years. Uh, Dried white rice is one of them. Don't use brown rice, it won't keep. 
uh, obviously the rolled oats and the chickpeas. Uh, you can do what we've done is a variety of different beans uh, and uh, rice along with some oats and you get a lot of complete proteins out of those foods. So this isn't uh, a food storage to live like kings in the event the supply chain breaks down or, or we're snowed in for an unusually long amount of time and can't get food from the stores. This is just to keep us going uh, and get us through some hard times. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and seal most of the way across, but we're gonna leave enough room to drop our oxygen absorbers in there on all three of these bags. And all that that involves is using your iron once it's warmed up to heat seal. Now you can seal just the very top of this if you plan on getting into your food storage often. And you can use this tear tab here to just remove the top sealed portion and then you can reuse your bags. I don't see the need for that. Uh, this is for long-term food storage only. So I just seal them maybe a little excessively. So I'll keep doing that. People use a standard clothes iron and a 2x4. They'll put the 2x4 behind it and then use the iron and that's a viable way to do it. Uh, we just happen to have a, a hair straightening iron which works 10 times better in my opinion. So we're ready to uh, move on to the next step. We'll add our oxygen absorb absorbers through the opening we left and then we'll get the absorbers we're not going to use today sealed up in an airtight container and we'll show you what comes after that and that's where our little trick is. I'm going to need a little help with this next step and this next step is the icing on the cake as far as my process goes. A lot of people skip this next step and that's fine. Uh, it seems to work pretty well but uh, when it comes to oxygen that's the key ingredient in oxidization which is the rotting of food. So I don't want any oxygen in here. Uh... Glory! Hi, can you help me for a minute? Sure. Say hi. Yeah. So all we're going to do is suck out some air before we seal these up. And Chloe is an expert at doing this. So, the trick to this is just not sucking up any food. And this is essentially vacuum sealing. As the oxygen absorbers work, they will actually remove the oxygen from the air inside the bags and you'll see your bag shrink and, and get tight around the product that you're sealing, kind of like a vacuum sealer would do. Uh, this just takes it a little st a step further uh, so that you have even less oxygen in there when you seal them. So, go ahead, Chloe. Yeah. Okay, ready? <laughs> Next. 
So I wasn't even going to make this video until I looked for a video to share with some friends uh, and I couldn't find one where they vacuum out the excess air before they seal it. So I looked high and low. So here we are making this video for you guys. Um, come take a look at this one. So it's not a hundred percent vacuum in there yet. But like I mentioned earlier, as that oxygen absorber works and absorbs that oxygen and turns it into other uh, byproducts, these wheels will seal better. So um, they will look like they're vacuum packed. Chirpy. Next, we label them on the bags in case the outside of the bucket gets beat up. You know, if we're fleeing from marauders in Biden's socialist aftermath or if we drop it down the stairs one day and we can't read the labels that will print up on the outside of the bucket. So we'll label these and we'll put a date on them. With any luck, we won't need these over the next 30 years and we'll know when they expire. So here we are, finished product. Labeled each of them on the top and at least one side with the year we packaged them up. So the bucket lids have a seal on them and I'm gonna leave those sealed until I need this food or until maybe five years from now, I can pull these open and just make sure the Mylar is still intact and close the lid again. Hope you learned something from this video.